Um, what do I have in there under this? I had I did start at day three. Okay, let's see. Day three. Yeah, I was just I just set up a template for it. Oh, the other thing we didn't check. Multi line. We didn't check it to see if the multi line output worked properly. Let's let's just check that for now, really quickly. Oh, yeah, see, it's off by one. Okay, let's fix that. Um, what's that in? In main? Yeah, so I just need to add another space here. Actually, while we're here, why don't we just make this general? So we can just say print, print solution p1. Right, and then just give it the iterator. Um, you want to iter? Right, and then we can just um, function print. I will get to give it a title, which one it is. Print solution, which is going to be. It um, doesn't matter. E32, U size. I said it doesn't matter, and then I change it to view size. And then we just need an iterator for a vec of strings. Uh, what type is that? Oh, it's mutable. Okay, so maybe we just pass in a reference to the vector, um, which is going to just be output, which is going to be this string. Right, and then we just say print lin part one. Uh, we're going to say let me i is equal to output at iter. And I guess we can just put this in here. Just say i dot next uh, unwrap. And then while that is that, then print a line. And then we can do print solution for one and then print solution for two. And we don't need these guys, which means we can do this solution part one and solution part two. And then we're done. Let's see if this works. Nope. Um, oh, expected. Uh, oh, OK. Yeah, and run that. Boom. Okay. And now everything lines up properly. Okay, good. So that is git uh, commit dash am clean up output. The next thing to do um, is to take a look at this. What are we going to do here? Oh, right. I want to change the interface here so that the name just returns a tuple. So let's change that as well. Um, that way it returns a tuple of year and uh, day this. So let name is equal solution dot name. And then we just say name dot zero and name dot one. That way we're not formatting something in the solution. And now these things need U size, U size, and this is just 2015 1. And then this is here, U size, U size, 2015 2. And then U size, U size, and 2015 3. Yep, okay. That checks, and there we go. Okay, what I still don't have is the ability to choose, right, which ones we're running. All we're doing is this business here and just creating them and then running them. But, but maybe as we go along, we'll think of a good way to do that. So day three, um, what we're doing is, Oh, right, we're doing infinite two-dimensional grid of houses. Okay, so that requires use standard 
collections, hash set. We'll create a, oh, we have to input, we have to open the file. So we need the, the data. How did we do it for 01? Uh, we did it right inside the um, the new function. That's fine. Data read to jars input 2015.03. Okay, and now part one is just going to be walking through each one of these north, south, east, and west, and then inserting an entry into the hash set for that. So we say let mod um, grid equal to hash set new for d in data, self data. Oh, um, we're going to start with, so grid and sign delivers to two houses, one at the starting location and one to the east. So we're going to always start with the starting location. So our current location is x0 and y0. We will then say insert into the grid a tuple of x, y. We can get rid of that. And then we're going to say whatever d is, match on d, if it's uh, north, we're going to subtract one from y. These are default i32s, yeah, that should be fine. I don't think it'll it'll go beyond that, right? South is y plus equals one. Uh, east is going to be x plus equals one, and west is going to be x minus equals one. Uh, everything else is a panic. Bad char in input. that um, and then add then it'll insert here it'll do the next move okay then we need do need one more insert after the for loop because what will happen on the last one here it'll grab it it'll change it and then it'll come to the top and say oh there's no more data drop to the bottom and we still need to insert that okay and then what do we need to report oh here it is how many houses receive at least one present okay so that's just yeah that just shows us that, and then we can just return back of grid format, bang, I guess, right? That's the easiest way to do it. Grid.len, simple, straightforward, and it fails. Oh, because I did all of these wrong. There. Collections. Read to chars, right, okay, so I need to use AOC lib. There we go. So if I run this, oh, it panics. Oh, I don't have the file. Okay, let's get the input. Nope, that's not it. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Let's get the puzzle input. We'll save it to named it consistently yep okay so let's try again okay so we got 5710 and that's not the right answer answer is too high okay so where did I go wrong um oh three there it is So we start at zero, we go through each direction, we insert. Up is y minus one, down is, y. actually it doesn't matter as long as we, oh, here it is, here's the bug. I see it. That should be x, not a y. 2565. Oh, but it's too soon, right? Yeah, 20 seconds. Okay. Um, 
is there anything we can do that would make this better? If we look at solution for one, oops. If we look at the solution for one, we see we map um, open to a, one, a positive one and a close to a negative one. But here, we're not just map, uh, there, we're not just mapping a single character to a, a, a single change, we're actually modifying a, um, a capture, a captured variable in this closure. No, that's not a closure, this is just a match statement. We're, we're modifying a, an existing variable and we can't do that, uh, just mapping this to another thing. So I'm not seeing anything obvious about what to do here more generically than what we've got now. All right, well, that was part one. Part two is next year to speed up the process, Santa creates a robot version of himself, Robo Santa. Santa and Robo Santa start at the same location, then take turns moving based on instructions from the elf, who is eggnoggedly reading from the same script as the previous year. Okay, so it just means use the same input. And this says the next year, that's interesting. That goes away pretty quickly, right? Because we're we're, we're doing single year based things in the for future advents of code um how can we simplify this then what we can do is we can create a a separate hmm. no i i think i think we just have to do the same thing and just flip between the two i don't know that there's an easier way to do this so we just take all of this and put it here but now instead of X and Y, we're going to have X be um, zero, zero, and Y be zero, zero, right? And then, oh, is that going to be able to mutate the inner ones? And then we're going to say which one we're on. So for alt, they take turns moving based on instructions, right? So that means first... Santa goes and then Robo Santa goes. So which is going to be, we'll start off with Santa. Like that. And then after we do the move, we're going to switch who's going to do the next move just by toggling between zero and one this way. And then we do need to insert here, and this is gonna be which, which. So what'll happen is, let's see if this works right. Which is zero, we insert for zero, zero. We then move, oh, we need to decide which one we're moving, which means we have to put the witches over here too. Right, so we're going to move, then Santa's going to move, Zero's going to move. We're going to toggle the witch and then insert the next one. So that's the same as Santa and Robo Santa delivering to this, the first house, right? We then move Robo Santa and then toggle to Santa and then he gets his inserted. So it's a little delayed by a cycle um, and then after the last one moves, we switch and then ins reinsert the original one. Is that going to be right? Or am I missing a step? Let's find out. Um, oh, I forgot my semicolon. Run 2639. Let's see if that's right. That's right. Perfect. Okay, so unfortunately there was nothing we could do here in terms of making it generic.